Okay everyone, uh, welcome back to another Scrapping Irish uh, video. Uh, this is the part 3 of the um, gold recovery from mobile phone or cell phones. And uh, this is where I do show you how I sort out what I get from. So in the previous two videos you've seen where I took the mobile phone apart and then you've seen where I used the heat gun or blowtorch to release everything from the board. So as you can see, we have a lot of stuff which contains chips, metal, Gold, gold pins, um, tantalums, um, MLCCs, crystal oscillators, uh, ceramic crystal oscillators. So all that needs to be sorted into different categories. So for different ways of processing, so that you get the most amount of gold from each mobile phone, that you're not missing out on anything. So the first thing I'll do will be to remove all the metal. So all these bits of metal, so that we can see what's left. So. Um, by the power of editing when we come back uh, we'll have all the, the metal removed so see you in a few minutes okay so there we have it all the metal has been removed all in this bag here now so the next step is what I'll be removing is my chips so all I do is take out all the IC chips so you can see anywhere there's an IC chip I remove it um, so again by the power of editing we'll remove all these chips and we'll come back when they're removed and I'll show you what next thing I remove out so the metal will be just thrown away I don't uh, scrap um, again you can put in your scrap steel if you want if you have buckets of scrap steel or screws or whatever you want to put them into so you can use that metal in that some of it is stainless steel um, but I just don't bother with them because it's so small so the next thing will be to remove all the IC chips is the next thing I'll remove from these. So back in a few minutes after we remove that, we'll have a look then and see what's left. Right, so I have uh, removed a good proportion of the chips, such as these. So you can see the little gold flicks on these. So these will have gold bonding wires going through. Again, you can see the gold around here. And again, you see them here. So that's the, the chips there. So they'll be added to the other chips I've collected from the previous um, mobile phones uh, that I've been doing so I've been collecting them up so we'll be soon processing these chips in a in another video to come uh, in this series so then we're left with this which is a mixture of a lot of gold pin things to hold the gold pins like the sim holder so that'll be the next thing I'll remove anything that will have gold pins in them so again you can see the gold pins here you can see them along here so that's the next thing I'm going to remove from the thing and again I will still find some um, some little IC chips as I go along so they'll be just added to the IC chips but the th main thing I'm looking to remove from here on the next stage is anything that contains gold pins so again you can see them here try and get it to focus a bit but it doesn't want to but you can see them there so that's the next thing that I'm going to remove, so we'll remove them next and we'll see what's left in to remove. You see, it's just a process of removing um, every, each item individually from it. It's a bit of a boring process, but it's something that can be done in an evening um, when you're sitting watching a bit on TV or something like that. You can just do it to, to remove the the um, what you've done in the previous day's work or whatever, just to sort it all out. So it's, it's easier if you categorize it out, so you have your chips, your pins, your MLCCs, your um, crystal oscillators, your all that sort of stuff. So as we're going along, you'll see the different categories of stuff that I remove. So we'll come back once I've removed all the gold pins. So as you can see now, after removing the anything that contained the gold pins, so you can see the gold pins there, um, you can just see them there through the jar. And I also have these motors removed. So some of these motors will have gold little connector pins on them. If I can find one with them in it there now, but maybe not. No, no most of these actually don't because I've removed them already. Um, so they're actually all for dumping. There's nothing there of value. So they're just the motors out of the uh, mobile phone. So they're just for throwing away again into your steel. Um, you can go with your steel bits or whatever. So this bit of steel that I already have, I'll just add them into that. So, okay, so that's the pins and the uh, chips removed. There's still some more chips in there that I'll be finding as I go along. 
So the next things I'll be looking to take out is uh, like tantalums, stuff like that. So again, little tantalums like that. So this is the painstaking bit where you're taking it, going through, siphoning through all these small bits. But they all add up, they're all containing gold, stuff like that. Anything with the gold, this little pins in it like that again, I'll put in with the, the gold pins. So the next thing is the tantalums, uh, the MLCCs, and the, um, um, not the crystal oscillator, but the ceramic crystal oscillators. So I'll just see if I can find a ceramic crystal oscillator there for you, just to show you guys, because I'm not going to bother doing any, you won't need to see me siphoning through these bits. Um, that's the main part of it done. I just wanted to show you what I'm taking out of it. Um, so that's kind of the end of the, the video. Um, more or less, I just want to show you, um, let me just take this up a bit closer for a second. Okay, so there's one. That's what I wanted to get, a ceramic. So this is a ceramic crystal oscillator. They usually contain gold or silver. So as you can see, it looks like a little silver there on the front, but when you turn it to the sides, there's usually a gold band going down along the side here. So you can see there's a little bit of gold um, along the edges of it, and the bottom of it is a ceramic bottom to them. So they're your uh, crystal, uh, ceramic crystal oscillators. So they, they're the other item that is worth taking out of the mobile phones. A lot of mobile phones will have them. There is usually a good proportion of them. I'm just having a quick look in the thing here again to see if I can locate another one, a bigger one maybe, if possible. Um, but there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff that you have to siphon through to get to it. Um, to try and, because there are a lot of other little bits yet that has to be picked out, but of little chips and um, even the MLCCs, I do remove them when I get to this stage. There's a lot of MLCCs that will be down through there. Um, again, it's painstaking work. Uh, a bit boring, a bit tedious, but they all add up. So here's another one. So again, we have the ceramic base, the little gold rim, and the silver tops usually on it. So that's another one of them crystal oscillators, uh, the ceramic versions of them. So they, they're, they're fairly, fairly um, most mobile phones, if you look at the boards, will have them on it, and um, they again just removed by the heat, and that's it. So that's kind of it for this video, guys. Uh, this is part, I think it's part three of the mobile phone um, gold recovery from mobile phones. It's part three, so that's where I removed all the different types of chips and um, pins, um, MLCCs. Um, tantalums, um, crystal oscillators, ceramic crystal oscillators. So again, that's a little MLCC that we have here. Ooh, don't want to lose it. So we need uh, MLCCs. So again, I'll put them in with my MLCCs um, for for um, precious metal recovery. Even these, as you can see, has a gold gold flashed. So again, that goes in with the gold pins and stuff like that. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you haven't already given a like or um, subscribe to the channel, please do. Uh, keep an eye out for some more of the videos, upcoming videos, um, where I'll be doing more on these. I'll be doing some CPU stuff, um, um, working on the assets now that I have the asset for the gold for recovering the gold from the uh, ram so i hope to do a few more in the ram series in the next couple of weeks where i, where I think um i haven't done a lot on them in a while because i was waiting for the asset so we'll do the gold recovery from the ram uh, fingers we'll be doing that and the chips as well from the ram so hopefully i can try and get that moving again the only downside now is it's late in the year so i'm up against the weather now uh which was is the other side of it. so i was waiting for the asset and now i'm up against the weather um so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Keep on looking for that gold and make sure you hit that like and hit that subscribe. And uh, until the next time, thanks for watching, guys.